Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today, we are going to check and test out the wired Amcrest Wi-Fi video doorbell. Amcrest got in touch with me a while back and asked if I can review their doorbell. Thank you Amcrest for sending me a unit out. We will check out its features, set it up, do the installation, and run a battery of tests and see if this video doorbell is a good fit for your home. But before we start, I decided to make a separate traditional chime doorbell setup which I will use starting with this doorbell and moving forward. And I'll be using it when I will be testing wired Wi-Fi doorbells instead of using my home setup. I've also used the AC adapter, which also works, but I have to also test the Chime connector kits, which most if not all wired Wi-Fi doorbells comes with. Just like in your wired doorbell Chime in your house, there is a Chime box and also a transformer. With the transformer that I'll be using, I'll wear it with 24 volts AC output, which has been tested to work reliably with Wi-Fi video doorbells like the Ring Pro and the Nest Hello. Now, let's check out the features of the Amcrest Wi-Fi video doorbell. It is Wi-Fi enabled, Full HD 1080p, 2-way talk, motion alerts. This is the model AD110. It has a 2 megapixel CMOS sensor. 1920 by 1080 and records up to 30 frames per second. It has a 140 degree field of view. Night vision of up to 16 feet. Motion detection which uses PIR heat sensing of up to 16 feet. Works with iOS or Android devices. IP55 weatherproof. Working temperature of negative 22 degrees to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is wired, which will use your existing doorbell wiring, and is compatible with 16 to 24 volt systems. This doorbell will record motion activated events and will store the footage to a micro SD card, and is compatible to up to 128 gigabytes. It also has an optional cloud recording, which I have issues with. You can sign up for a one year free trial of three days motion detected events, and after the trial, it will be $2 per month per camera. My issue with this is that it will only record 12 seconds and has a 7 minute cooldown period. This option is not worth it and if you want 7 days recording and without recording limits then it will be $5 a month. I'll just stay with the micro SD card recording option. This video doorbell can also be configured to work with Amcrest NVRs and DVRs and live streaming to Blue Iris and third party software using RTSP. Time to open up the box. We have a warranty paperwork, doorbell installation guide, and chime kit installation guide. We have some wire nuts, connector, and machine screws. Screws and plastic anchors. We have an extra faceplate which is silver and also has a black one which is already installed in the doorbell. We have the chime kit wire harness and extra wires. We have a drill bit. We have a Phillips screw and Torx driver combo. Then we have the doorbell itself. We have the camera lens, PIR sensor here on top, infrared LEDs and light sensor in the front, and we also have the speaker in the middle. And the doorbell button surrounded by an LED ring light. Doorbell push sounds like this. On the back, the doorbell camera is already installed in the mounting bracket. On the bottom is the Philips head screw that you need to loosen to separate the video doorbell to the mounting bracket. We then have the two terminal screws to connect to your existing doorbell wires. This doorbell camera is all plastic. Then we have the chime kit which you need to install to your existing chime box. The faceplate can be easily removed by pulling on the indentations on the sides and pushing it off from the camera. On the side, there is a rubber flap which when pulled out, you will see the micro SD card slot. And you can install up to 128GB card class 10 or higher. On top of the slot is the reset button. You can then easily snap the faceplate in place. Time to install the chime kit. Connect the wire harness to the chime kit and loosen the front screw and connect one of the wires. Then connect the other wire to the trans or transformer screw. The chime kit is too big to be installed inside the chime, so you will need to stick it outside using the included mounting tape. Time to install the video doorbell outside. First, make sure the breakers are off or in my case, the doorbell chime and transformer are unplugged. Push the doorbell wires to the hole in the mounting bracket. Screw in the bracket using the included screws. Loosen the terminal screws and screw in the doorbell wires. It doesn't matter which wire connects to which terminal. 
push the doorbell to the mounting bracket and secure it in place by screwing it on the bottom. Time to set up and configure the Amcrest video doorbell. Download, sign up, and log into the Amcrest Smart Home app. Click Add Device. Scan the QR code which is behind the faceplate on the camera. Click Next. Set the device password and click OK. Choose which Wi-Fi network the doorbell is going to connect to. Type in the password and click Connect. Name your doorbell which mine will be named Front Door. Choose what type of existing chime you have which I have the mechanical chime. Set up the time zone and click Next. And the connection is successful. Let's check out the live view. Yep, it works. Let's check out the settings in the app. On the main app page, you will see your camera. Click on it and we'll go to Live View. You can select Multi View if you have other Amcrest cameras you want to view. And there is Talk, which is X'd out and I'm not sure why. So you're not able to use two-way talk in Live View, which you should be able to, but you can listen or turn off the speaker. Then you can change the video quality of the Live View from standard to high definition. You can take a snapshot or you can record the live view and this will be saved in my files in the user setting. On the bottom, we have the live view which we are currently in and cloud recordings which I'm not going to sign up and the micro SD card which shows all the motion recorded footage. There is no option to share or download the footage to your phone. Going back to the main app page on the bottom, you have devices and events which is another location where you can view recorded footage from the micro SD card. But there's still no option to download the footage. There will be a magnifying glass icon on the footage that when you click on it, there will be a download button, but will only save the snapshot. There is also a share option, but the same thing, it will only save and share the snapshot image. When you go back to the camera's live view, on the upper right corner is the gear icon for the settings. You have device information, Motion detection where you can turn it on or off. You can set motion scheduling. And sensitivity where you can adjust PIR motion sensitivity from 1 to 6. So I'll choose 4 and you will see that it is saved. But when you get out and get back in on the setting, it will be back to 0. Don't worry, there's some more bugs on this app. You can set regions which it will prompt you fail to get config. Which you will not be able to set motion zones. There's storage status which shows my micro SD card and this is where you can format the card if needed. There is the time zone and share device. And as to firmware update, this will show up. This version does not support cloud updating, so I cannot even update the firmware. Now we have Wi-Fi settings, location setup, and we have video settings, which you will need to change, especially the quality. Click on HD and click the pen edit icon on the side. This is important because the default will be 1080p but at 15 frames per second. You can adjust this from 1 to 30 and surely you will need to change this to 30 FPS. You can also change the bitrate which also defaults to 2048. So I changed mine to the middle 6144. The higher the better but will depend on your network connection speed. Two hours later. Okay, so after I've done my testing, the video doorbell went offline for a bit and it did an update. Remember, I wasn't able to update the firmware earlier, but I guess it did it automatically. And there are changes on the app. First, the two-way talk now works in live view and also you can set the motion zones, which is a good thing. But I lost a major feature setting. There are no video settings now, so you will not be able to tweak the camera's color and brightness but more importantly, you will not be able to change the frame rate and bit rate. The doorbell with this update only records in 15 FPS. I hope that Amcrest just mistakenly deleted the setting. So time to show my testing. So I'm recording in live view right now and it is not the uh, event based recording. Uh, so because if the Amcrest video doorbell is configured with the uh, micro SD card uh, installed. Um, you'll not be able to download that footage to the phone. Uh, I don't know if the Amcrest is going to update that in the future. But I think you can only download the footage to your phone if you are subscribed to their cloud service. So that this is how the Amcrest video doorbell looks like, uh, the video and audio quality. 
and this is how it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is how it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Amprest video doorbell and this with all the lights are off and the infrared LED just turned off. <laughs> I don't know what happened. And now it's starting to turn on again. Uh, there's some issues with this doorbell. Anyway, so now the infrared LEDs is, are on. So there's two of them. So this is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. Turned off. So this is the video quality of the Amcrest video doorbell and this is at night and with my front porch lights on. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the Amcrest video doorbell and I'm on my LTE connection and it's uh, 1240 and also uh, we'll see how fast uh, it is to notify us so, uh, during doorbell press so let's check it out there you go so I'm opening it up and it says it may take 30 seconds so there's an extra step which is to manually click live view and it does open up pretty quick all right how about pushing the doorbell chime turned on and it's almost instantaneous and you're able to accept Mac test. So it's been about a minute. It's 12:42 uh, since the end of the first test. We'll see what the uh, cool off period of the Amcrest video doorbell. There you go. So it's about less than a minute. Show me Amcrest doorbell. Okay. Hmm, the camera isn't responding. I guess it doesn't work. Uh, yes, can I help you? Uh, yes, can I help you? Um, yes, I just wanted to know if Life Axe is here. Um, yes, I just wanted to know if Life Axe is here. Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Um, you want to leave a message? Uh, sorry, he's not here right now. Um, you want to leave a message? Oh, well, yeah, I just wanted to stop by. Tell him uh, he's doing a great job with the reviews. All right, I appreciate it. Or right, I'll tell him. All right, thank you. I realized that when you answer the doorbell press, the recording will stop, just like with the Eufy video doorbells when they were initially released. But Amcrest knows about this that they added a record button when you answer the doorbell. So this is another step that you have to do. And even if you do hit the record button, it will only record the doorbell side of the conversation and not the phone side. As to motion recording, the Amcrest video doorbell has a 3 second pre-recording which they didn't advertise. But as you can see in the footages when we are going out of the house, you will see that the camera started recording before the motion sensor has been triggered. 
and even when I had issues with the motion zones, the doorbell has been reliable in motion detection. In actual footages though, because of the short 16-foot range of the PIR sensor, most of the motion events of the people coming to your door will start when they are already in the frame of the camera. And that is why I initially thought that this video doorbell only starts to record when it senses motion and doesn't have a 3-second pre-recording. Overall, the video quality is okay. There's no HDR or WDR, so bright areas will be washed out and shadowed areas will be underexposed. Audio is pretty good though. Motion notification has a delay, but it's not too long. Doorbell push to notification is almost instantaneous and opening of the app is pretty decent. But the app after the automatic update fixes the bugs, but remove the video settings, which now the camera will only record in 15 FPS, and not 30 frames per second which the camera is capable of. There is also no option to turn on or off the night vision. And you will not be able to download motion recorded footage in the microSD card to your phone. And the only way to do it is to remove the microSD card and stick it to your computer to download the footage. So what do you think guys? Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.